everybody, Courtney here at City Supply Box, and we're just going to be going over our beginner box for the month of November. Uh, we're going to be tying a Slim Jim. This is a fabulous little Euro Nymph pattern to use. It's been working really well for us this fall. Really enjoyed fishing with it and, and tying it especially. It's a quick tie. You can do a whole different array of colors um, and sizes even. This is a size 14 hook that you got in your box. An A-Rex hook, so it's a really good, sharp, sticky hook. So I'm just going to start my thread here right behind the bead. You could choose to put lead on this if you want. Um, I just prefer to just go just with the bead weight alone. I'm just going to build up a little bit of a thread body here, just the front half of the hook, before we go ahead and tie our tail in. Our tail is just going to be uh, the little micro fibets you got in your box. And I just kind of aim for about four of them. I'm just going to pull off a clump there. And we're going to tie these in right on top of the hook shank. So I'm just going to get my measurement, how long I want them. I want it to be about half the length of the hook. It's kind of what I'm aiming for. And I try to keep these centered right on top of the hook. So I'm just not letting them roll around. That's about the right length, just like that. And then I'll wrap back to just before the bend in the hook. Now I'm not going to trim this yet. I'm going to use these to my advantage to help build the taper on this body. And as you notice, I'm going, so this is a thread, uh, thread bodied style fly. So I want to make sure all my thread wraps really count here. I'm just going to do one wrap right in front of the other. And I'm going to push these micro fibats right up here, almost into that slot of that bead. And they really anchor them down. And I'm going to fold them back and wrap back to about the halfway point of the hook here. This will just help build a more natural taper of the fly so we want a, a nice even smooth taper so it's going to be skinny towards the tail and a little fatter as we work up to the bead of the fly here so i'm just gonna just now just work my way back up to right behind the bead again and then we'll tie in our wire so for this color combo i'm just going to do the small silver wire and then i'm going to tie this right to the side of the hook shank you can almost just kind of poke it right up here inside the bead. And now as I'm wrapping back, I just want to make sure that that wire stays as straight as I can keep it. Now with these thread bodied flies, you can really see that wire through the thread. And so it just kind of acts like a little, looks like a little vein. So if it's twisting around the hook shank, you're going to notice that. So I just try to keep it as straight as I can to keep the body uniform. And then I'm going to just again build a little taper here. I don't want to build too much. This is a really kind of a thin fly. It's the idea here. It really cuts through the water really quick with how thin it is. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this wire forward. And I just like to bring this forward with even segmented wraps. You can really space these however you'd like. I kind of try to keep them fairly close. This gives a nice segmentation look to it. I just try to keep them even as I go. We just work our way up here towards the bead. And once I get up here to the bead, I'm gonna hold my wire up with my right hand, drop my bobbin up and over with my left. We'll anchor that down, I like to give it a good firm pull there. And I'm gonna cut this wire out. And I saw the little tag there, I'm gonna actually fold that back over itself. And then wrap down over it. It just helps secure that wire in a little bit better and make it so that wire won't pull out after a few fish have hit it. Okay, and now we're going to take a little pinch of Arizona Diamond Dub here. This is just in the pink color. Uh, you do not need a lot. I try to really keep this very sparse on these flies. Just a nice little hint of a collar on it is all I'm looking for. I'll take that and I'm going to wrap that here just three four times is all you really need and that is it so then we can whip finish and just let that whip finish just kind of roll right against the back side of the bead and down that builds a nice smooth collar on your fly as well we can go ahead and snip that and then the only other thing i do here now is just take a little piece of like white paper or white cardboard and just come in here and i'll just mark the tail up so i'll just Press my marker right against the tail. And just give it a good little segmentation on the on the tail there. And that's it. So let us know how you do with that. Hope you enjoy it. 